It's on everyone's lips, with plenty of verve, and also skepticism. Maybe you're already coming tomorrow, or maybe not. Either way, what does it really mean, this Energiewende? Currently, the energy supply in Germany is based on fossil fuels, but these are gradually being replaced by renewable energy sources. The process accompanying this change is the Energiewende, and it is in full swing. To be more specific, by the middle of the 21st century, 80% of our energy should come from renewable sources, energy consumption should fall by 50%, and greenhouse gases should be reduced to somewhere around the 1990 level. Is this daring and unrealistic? Actually, Energiewende processes are really rather old hat. In the past, all our energy came from renewable sources, such as wood, wind and hydropower. The switch to coal set the ball rolling for industrialization. Since the mid-20th century, our main sources of energy have been oil, gas and nuclear power. And now they must be replaced. For environmental reasons. The only problem is, the energy system is enormously complex. It's extremely difficult to change direction. Like a big tanker at sea. Our energy supply must be reliable, ecological and affordable. However, there is no master plan to ensure this. There can't be. But that doesn't mean that we have to start from scratch. In 2000, the so-called Red-Green Coalition government passed the Renewable Energies Act. Today, more than a quarter of our energy supply now comes from renewable sources. That's the good news. The not-so-good news, there are still a lot of questions. For example, which types of renewable energy should be used in which parts of Germany? How do we guarantee a secure energy supply if the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining? How does electricity travel from the generator to the receiver? Such a mammoth project requires new methods, alternative ways of thinking. How can we bring energy demand in line with the existing supply? Could we redesign the energy supply to be smaller scale and more decentralized? And what about investing in the energie vendor as a European cooperation? One thing is for sure, it won't be easy to get a reliable, environmentally sustainable and affordable new energy infrastructure up on its feet. But it will be worth it, and we will succeed. If we accept the energie vendor as a process, a process which is open to new ideas and insights and which must endure opposition and difficulties. A process which must not be discouraged by setbacks and above all, a process which motivates us to keep going.